Welcome back everyone. Here's a new video to show you just how crazy carp fishing is with the amount of gear we take. Hope you enjoy. My bed chair is a sleep system made by Tracker. It's the oval one. Um, it weighs a ton but because I'm there for four or five days I don't mind taking something that's a bit more hefty because I need a bit of comfort. This is my Barrow, the most compact one I could find. It's made by JRC. And if you're carting a lot of stuff around the lake, you can't be with that one really. And the rods I'm taking with me, my free cart rods, because you're allowed to fish free rods. They're ready rigged up. Just got to add my leads on and my rigs. This one is my zig rod. Middle one, as you can see, spod rod. Cause it gets a bit confusing when you've got so many rods, so. Which is that? Which is that? Marker rod. And this is my bushwhacker. So there's some islands on these lakes that I should be able to reach with a bushwhacker. And my BV is a quick up shelter made by solar. Because I'm doing them five days, I need lots of space for all this gear. So this is my rod pod with my buzzers. JRC contact. There's my new Fox buzzers. I've got the receiver in my backpack. And this is very adjustable as you can see. It's got long legs. So you can have this at all sorts of angles. So rod pod and buzzers. And in this one, there's some winter warmers. This is my winter suit with my Nash slippers in case the weather changes and there's a real cool breeze in the air so I think I'm going to need them. And here's my cradle for when you've landed the fish and you've got them on the bank instead of having a unhooking mat this one is raised off the ground as you can see with the legs because if you're unhooking a real big fish it does really break your back so cradle and this is my waist sling for weighing the fish and transporting them from the water and then back into the lake and I've got a fox easy shelter if I want to move swims but don't want to take all my gear I've got another shelter so I can move further down the bank set this up be sheltered from the wind and rain and if the new swim starts producing then I can move all my gear but this is a temporary shelter just to test out a new swim and here's a bivy table just to keep things on. If you like to keep things in order, you can keep lighters on here or your head torch or things that you might need in the middle of the night that you can't find. You don't want to be rummaging around, so it's good to have a little table to keep the essentials on. And a folding fishing chair so you can sit out, watch the water in the daytime. And my filthy water bucket. You can test out your rigs in these because they have. As you can see, it's got a clear side. You can see if your rigs are sitting correctly. But you also use this to splash over the fish to clean off any debris for when you're taking a picture. And here's one bait bucket with different wafters in and pop-ups. This is Scopex Squid. I've got a few different other flavours to put on PVAs or on bait that I'm going to try out. Stinky Octopus. So this is a bucket of scopex squid there's pellets and as you dig deeper you'll see i've chopped up lots of boilies in a blender but also i've left some 12 mils some 20 mils there's mixed sizes in here so that's part of a spod mix and that's about eight key of bait and another bucket of bait this is ASM, fairly big bucket. It's probably seven, eight kilograms of pellet and chopped up boilies, and I did the same again, as you can see. I left a few whole boilies in there, but chopped up most of them for another spod mix. And this is gonna be used for the bushwhacker as well. So I went to the tackle shop earlier, pint of casters, and in my homemade, can you tell? Homemade tub. Four pints of red maggot. 
I forgot to say earlier, in my rod holder, I've got two landing nets, two nets, and also, where are they? A couple of distance sticks, so if I want to be accurate with my casting, I set up the distance sticks and uh, measure out the wraps. I've got so many things in boxes and bags that I'm starting to forget what I've actually got. What's in this one? Oh, this is more bait, backup bait. This is a new Camping Gaz Party Barbecue. It's called something like that. Anyway, it's a barbecue. You screw the gas bottle into the bottom. It's got three legs. This lid turns upside down and becomes a wok. So I'm gonna do a stir fry. I'm gonna cook some meat on the barbie. My cool box for milk, meat, cold drinks, all the things that can perish when you're doing a long session. Another bag of cooking essentials. Paper towels, these are gonna be filled with water. This is to keep my tea hot in case I make a cuppa and a fish comes along. Spare gas bottles, some tins of do do do. A new water container that I can top up on the bank when it runs out. A bag with a change of clothes because I don't want to stink a fish. Toiletries. A warm hat. <whistles> a bag of goodies, eggs, sweets, toffees and bread. Another bag with electrical bits in. Downloaded a few films to watch. This is Head torches, chargers, come out, batteries to charge everything through the week. So here's my backpack with my tripod for filming. I've got spare bank sticks with a buzzer on in case I want to do a wandering rod so I can have this separate from my pod. I've got a body cam to film, strap this to my chest and I can film. Polaroids for spotting fish, different bait scoops. Important one, sun cream, PVA bags, catapult, tackle box, scales in the front of the bag with a waistling, PVA nuggets for my zig fishing, a spare spod, what's in here? <laughs> a tracker zig setup. Some boots for hiking around the lake, wellies if it gets super muddy and a little telescope for fish spotting. And that is what I take for a five day session. How much do you take?